Hi, I'm Jim Zentz. Many years ago in 1970, I was very fortunate to meet the members of a band called the Wilson McKinley's. The band formed in the mid-1960s as a secular dance band, primarily performing at weekend events in the Spokane, Washington area, Pacific Northwest, and Western Canada. The band rose in popularity very quickly. In 1970, the band joined the New Jesus Movement and released a live Christian rock album later that year. The band is often recognized as the first rock band, not individual, to release a Christian album. In April 1969, the Spokane Daily Chronicle put an article in about the band titled Young Bandsmen Playing for God. I'm putting the article on the screen as well as the photo so you can see them. Press pause if you want to view them more closely. I first learned of Wilson and Kinley while I was in high school in my junior and senior year from 1968 or 1966 to 1968. I had an after school job that included making afternoon deliveries in the Coeur d'Alene area. So while I was driving around the area in my 1955 Plymouth, with monochrome vacuum tube radio, I would be listening to local radio stations. I mostly listened to KGRB, but also occasionally KVNI and KXLY. The hits keep on coming on the KJRB Golden Weekend. KJRB was very supportive of the Wilson McKinley Band, and they would keep us their audience informed about the band's successes at Battle of, the, Battle of the Band events. So Wilson McKinley came out on top and was rated the top rock band in the Pacific Northwest. Apparently I had a high school teacher who was a rock music fan and probably listening to KGRB the day after it was announced that Wilson McKinley was the top rated rock band in the Pacific Northwest, he mentioned it in class. In my class was a fellow student named Kenny Hebert. Kenny was in a local rock band called The Vagrants. The teacher asked Kenny how long he'd been playing music and Kenny indicated only about a year. So the teacher used the Wilson McKinley success to try to spur his students on to reaching their dreams and goals and to pursue excellence. In 1972, Spokane's early morning paper, the Spokesman Review, did an article on the local Jesus people, but in the photo they took, on stage, it shows Mike Messer and Randy Wilcox. And you can see that in the photo above. But what I'd like to note is that in the back of the photo is a business called Hoffman Music. Hoffman Music had a slogan, a slogan that was where the great bands go. I went into the store a few times and around the upper part of their walls they had a lot of photos of bands with their name on it and signed photos. But what I would consider the most prominent location in the store was a photo of the Wilson McKinley. One day when I stopped into Hoffman Music, it just happened that Mike Messer showed up with his, with a guitar and the case had stenciled on it, Wilson McKinley, the salesman immediately went, ooh, Wilson McKinley. And Mike was very humble and said, hey guys, just cool it. Uh, don't make a big deal out of my presence here. So he was very humble about the whole thing. I think I'm gonna hold off now on any further information 
Uh, you can search the web and find information out about the Wilson McKinley. Uh, Tanaganak.com is a good place to go and also it's Psychedelic Baby did an interview with Mike Messer that was very good. But there's lots of other locations that have information. So if you do a web search and if you're interested, you can find more information about them. I've spent a lot of time and actually years trying to clean up the Moby tape to where I felt like it was actually presentable to the public. The band's performance was phenomenal and I would have to give them an A or an A plus for their performance. I did the recording and I would say the recording turned out very poor. However, deep down in the recording was the, was the good sounds that you want to hear. And with modern software tools, it's impossible to bring it out to where I feel it's much more acceptable now. But I would like to hear some response from people and see what they think of it. The two tools that I used the most were Adobe Edition and Isotope RM. So that's all for now. And I'm going to enjoy hearing the comments and subscribing to this channel. Thank you.